All right, now to something that I know is going to get your attention, and that's free beer. Uh, Tampa Theater is getting ready to host the premiere of a very interesting documentary called uh, Tampa Beer Crafting the Bay. Take a look at this clip. Every beer has a story, and there's nothing better than something that's flavorful and enjoyable and is an experience in a glass. I mean, beer's been currency. It's made civilizations. Beer's helped keep people alive when the growing season's not around. You get to do, create. You get to, to develop something that is truly unique and yours. And um, I think that's pretty rad. All right. Were you just drinking beer, James? I was not, <laughs> no, I was not. Too early James Blankenfeld joining us now, the film's director. Man, that looks so well done. Uh, congratulations. So the Thank premiere you. happening at Tampa Theater, as I said, October 15th. It's also going to be a chance for maybe some sampling, some free beer, as I mentioned. Yes. But James, tell us about this documentary and uh, the journey that it took you on, I'm sure. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a while. This has been six years in the making um, since the time I decided, you know, maybe I should make a, a documentary on the Tampa Bay craft beer scene to actually getting it to the point where we can set a premiere date. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's 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 such a good story, um, you know, for anybody who loves beer, any even if you don't like beer and you like history, you know, Tampa's got such a vast history with beer from uh, the first brewery in Florida actually being in Tampa Bay. So we kind of go through the history of where beer started and kind of the evolution up to um, where beer is now in Tampa Bay. We get to meet a ton of great people, great brewers. Um, there's just a lot of passion and a lot of heart that goes into what they do. And I'm just happy to have been able to shed a little bit of light on that to kind of show the community, you know, where the beer that they drink in the bay comes from so did you film this over six years no we actually filmed this uh over the course of four months okay um, so we filmed it over the course of four months but six years it kind of took from the idea of how are we going to do this how are we going to tell the story getting the breweries on board getting the funding in place and all of the logistics to get to the point where we can actually start filming and uh we actually were planning to start filming in April of 2020, right before everything shut down because of COVID. So that kind of delayed our timeline a little bit. Um, but over the course of six years, we finally were able to tell the story we wanted to tell. Well, because that's why I was kind of asking. It's interesting because I feel like the beer scene, the craft beer scene uh, especially, has grown so much over right. six years that I can imagine when you first even started on this project, and where you thought it was going to go to where we are now today, I'd imagine six years is a, is a long time, I think, to see some changes right here locally. Yeah, we we lived in St. Pete at the time, um, and there were already a handful of breweries that existed. And seeing over the course of just one or two years since I decided, you know, I want to make this documentary, there was this vast number of breweries that just popped up everywhere. And then even, even to this day, there are still more breweries yeah. in the Bay that are, are popping up. So it's kind of been cool to see the evolution of telling the story about this exponential growth as this exponential growth is still <laughs> happening. Yes. Well, you you were telling me uh, you have a background in wedding photography, right? And reality TV. Yep. Um, that's you know, I mean, again, the quality of these, and I even again, if you're you don't you know drink beer, the the story is fascinating. Yeah, that was that was one of the things we really wanted to to nail with this documentary was if you like beer. Uh, you're going to enjoy this film. If you enjoy history, you're going to enjoy this film. If you just enjoy great storytelling, um, great personalities, you're going to enjoy this film. There's a, there's a little bit of everything in here for everybody, which is, which is something we wanted to do. We didn't want to make this just a 100% beer documentary. If you love beer, you'll like it. And if you hate beer, yeah. you'll hate it. You know, this is a film for everybody, we, we hope. Well, invite everybody out to Tampa Theater and, and explain how it's going to work. I know there's going to be a Q&A. There are going to be uh, some craft uh, breweries there, right, on scene. We have about 30 seconds left. Yeah, so we will have Green Bench, Cigar City, Copper Tail, and Tampa Bay Brewing Company uh, sampling some free beers. Um, the premiere starts at 740, and it goes to about 915. And then at 915, we're going to have a Q&A with uh, me and then some of the brewers and uh, brewery owners just to talk all things Tampa craft beer. 
Oh, I love it. Well, uh, congratulations on everything. Keep us posted because we go. We now know from here it will enter some maybe festivals, yes. and then I don't know maybe some of the big the big players like Netflix and and Amazon and all those big guys might uh, pick it up soon. I have a That's feeling the they hope. might. That's the hope. All well, right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations uh, again. And like I said, keep us posted. We'll, of course, put all the details on how people uh, can check out the premiere uh, and the event on our website as well.